Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the IWF Connect. My name uh, is uh, Fabio Greco. I'm currently the head of the software development team here in uh, Paulino Bacci. If you don't know who we are, well, Paulino Bacci is a leading company manufacturing uh, five axis uh, CNC machine uh, for woodworking. Uh, well, Today we are not uh, presenting you exactly a five axis CNC machine, but uh, the top level machine of our uh, cutting machine series. Uh, this machine is called uh, MasterCut. Well, uh, um, MasterCut uh, 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 is a machine designed to work plywood or MDF uh, uh, nested panels. The MasterCut is composed by two working groups. One is uh, uh, a vertical band so that can rotate the blade plus minus 90 degrees and one is a router group including two spindles. Our approach to the nesting is different from the standard one. Generally, in the standard approach, you have to work one panel at a time and uh, uh, just hold the panel with vacuum. In our approach, we can stack the panel up to 150 millimeter height and uh, hold the panels with clamps. Uh, in this way, uh, we can work the panels mainly with a blade and so, with a curve of just 1.6 millimeter, we can uh, increase the yield and so the output uh, of the machine. Okay, uh, this is the point. Now, let me get my handicam uh, to show you some details uh, about uh, this machine. Okay, first of all, let me present you uh, the guys that will uh, help me to show the, you the machine, that is uh, Vincenzo. And uh, uh, I will show you the clamps. As I said, the clamps can uh, lock uh, up to 100, uh, 150 millimeter stack, so about uh, uh, six inches. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, the blade, the blade body. As I said, this is a vertical benzo, and uh, we are able through this device that we call it, we call it uh, saw driver, to rotate the, the, the vertical blade. Okay, now Vincenzo will show us uh, a test that uh, show you how the blade uh, is rotated. Of course, we have two devices, uh, one on the top, and one on the bottom. Okay, thank you, Vincenzo. Now let's go on the back. On the back of the machine, we have, uh, uh, as I said, a router head. It is a servo controlled, uh, and we have two axes, uh, Y and Z axis. With this machine, with this, in, the, in this head, we have two spindle. One is the main spindle, HSK63F, and one is uh, a smaller spindle uh, that is used for auxiliary operation like boring or small slots. Okay, as I said, we have an HSK63F spindle, so we have a tool change and uh, so a tool magazine. Sixth position. These are bars. The bars are adjustable. Um, and even the clamps are adjustable in position. As soon now we will start the cycle, we will see uh, clamps and bar will be automatically adjusted uh, by, uh, by the machine according to the position set uh, in the program. Okay, we, Vincenzo now will start uh, this uh, adjustment.
on this program uh, we already we already have uh, uh, some bars in position and the machine is going to set up only the bars that uh, are required uh, to be positioned bars and clamps Okay, once uh, the adjustment uh, is completed, uh, we can start to load the panels. Um, as I said, uh, you can work, uh, of course, panels, uh, playwood and uh, MDF. Right now we are loading uh, uh, 5 uh, by 2.5 feet panels. We will stack four panels for a height equal to 2.5 inches. With the pedal, we close the, the clamps and then we start the cycle. At the beginning, we will see the router working. This is an automatic tool change. So the machine is going to take the right, the right tools and the router will perform some operations. Now, why we inserted this router in the back of the machine? First of all, because the router it can be used to perform some operations like slot or pocketing uh, that are on the elements so we are going to nest. Second, because uh, the router will be used uh, as uh, um, to work uh, the piece uh, mixed uh, with the benzo. So let's say the router will help the benzo to cut the pieces. As you can see, we have uh, uh, a dust cover on the spindle that is connected to the dust extraction system. The table of the machine can fit a piece, a panel, up to 8 feet by 5. But we can produce machine that can fit a panel up to 12 feet by 7. The router spindle, this one that is working, is 10.5 kilowatts while the auxiliary spindle, the one that we will see uh, work, it is a 7.5 kilowatt. Instead of having uh, one auxiliary spindle, you can have uh, on this machine even two auxiliary spindles. So uh, if you are going to use more than one tool commonly on your piece, uh, you can have up to three tools fixed uh, on, uh, on your spindle or uh, another option is uh, equip the machine with a drilling unit with uh, five exit five plugs okay remember we said that the machine uh, can um, can work uh, nested panels but this machine is even designed to work solid wood. For example, suppose you want to pre-cut pre -cut, um, solid wood to go after in a shaper or in a shaping machine. Well, this is the right machine. If you don't need the router group, we have, let's say, the little sister of this machine. The name is Atlantis and uh, it is a suitable, more suitable to cut, as I said, the solid wood. Even in that case, we can cut uh, a panel of solid wood stack. Okay, we see again uh, a tool change. This is just for demo purpose, of course. Probably we didn't need to, to do this, but... You are, 
you see that uh, the dust protection is going up when the machine goes close to the clamp. While the machine is working, uh, I just want you to show uh, the layout of the drawing uh, of the nesting. And this is the layout. We are making uh, five different elements. They are totally 14 elements. Of course, you have always to consider that you have to multiply the elements uh, by four because uh, we are stacking uh, four panels. So the output of the machine will be very high in co compared to the standard uh, nesting machine. Have a look here, we are making boring operation so that the piece at the end will be finished. The nesting we are doing now is uh, a sofa elements nesting. Beside the drilling uh, bit, as you can see, there is uh, something like a vertical clamp that is used uh, to compress the panel, if suppose the panels are bent, to compress the panel during the job. Okay, the job is completed here and we go to start to cut with the blade. Waiting the blade is on. As you can see, the cut of the blade is uh, very fast. I repeat, we are cutting 2.5 inches of material. This is a short trimming cut. We will have a longer one that I, I will show you better and uh, I will explain. As you can see, we have a blow that, uh, let's say, is able to remove scraps. Another trimming cut. Okay, this is uh, this is another trimming cut. Before you have seen the blade rotating on a boring done by the router. Here you can see the pieces. So this cut is done, uh, some of the cut is done with a blade, some part of the cut is done with a blade and some part with a spindle. And here, these are the pieces. The machine uh, is still running, but uh, our time is over. Thank you all to join our MasterCut live demo today and we look forward to see you in our virtual booth at IWF Connect.